So as this video suggests, this is a guide to all recoil in this game. Absolutely all of it. If you want to be able to beam like some of the top pros, this is definitely the guide you need to be watching. So the reason I'm making this video is because it's come to my attention through my TikTok comments and a few people I've played with that not everyone understands how recoil functions in this game. For example, I've been told I'm jitter aiming the R301. Now don't get me wrong, it's possible to jitter aim the R301, but to be able to do that consistently is rather impressive and I don't even think I can do that because I'm not very good with jitter aiming. Um, so I, I just decided to make this video to kind of explain all the fundamentals of how recoil works in this game and how you want to control recoil in different situations. Before we get started, have to understand there are three recoil techniques. Three. One of them, very, very simple, just controlling recoil. As simple as it is, just pulling down, following a recoil pattern, that's controlling recoil. Number one, right? Number two, jitter aiming that we all know and love. And number three is aim smoothing. Okay, so I want to explain what all three of these are first before I show you how to do them. So, rear coil control, very, very simple. It works the same in every single game. All you're doing is simply controlling this pattern. Now, I'm using the flatline uh, as an example because the flatline is uh, really good for jitter aiming. And it has a decently difficult recoil pattern. As well as the fact it has a, a randomized recoil pattern. Uh, so this has, I think the flatline has something like four, like three or four recoil patterns. They follow the same trend of bullets, but they're a bit deviated every now and then. However, every other weapon in the game doesn't. So I'm not too sure why the flatline does, but it is there. You're, you're just pulling down in this pattern to control the recoil. And keeping it in a single place. That's all it is. One thing I want to mention is... Although this guide teaches you how to control recoil with three different techniques, do not just learn one of them. Don't just learn register aiming. Don't just learn aim smoothing. Don't just learn recoil control. Learn all three of them. If you want to master every single weapon in this game, you have to master all three recoil techniques to be able to control every weapon in the game for different situations. For example, I'm not going to be 10 meters away from someone with an R99 and start jitter aiming because... I'm going to miss all of my shots, and it's going to be pointless, right? So, just make sure you learn all of them. You don't have to master all of them. If there's any recoil technique I'd say you need to master, it's aim smoothing, right? Aim smoothing is probably the most important one. However, they're all situational, and I recommend learning all of them. With that out of the way, I'll explain jitter aiming. So, jitter aiming is probably one that gets a lot of bad rep. Um... Uh, everyone hates it right every every pc player does it and every console player hates it right that's, that's the argument but it's it's not that simple right it, it's it's a mechanic in the game and the reason aim smoothing works is the same reason jitter aiming works if aim smoothing was gone so would jitter aiming it's it's that simple so to explain jitter aiming it's very, very simple. It's just moving the crosshair continuously. It's just constantly moving the crosshair in different directions and repositioning it to where you want it to be. So you can either do it in a circle or you can do it sporadically. So you can do it like this. Or you can do it like this. Both work. I personally... I'm not very good at doing it in a circle, so I just kind of go wherever. The most important one of all is aim smoothing. Now, to explain what aim smoothing is and go a little bit in, in detail of it, it's similar, to re it's similar to jitter aiming in terms of you're moving your crosshair at a certain speed, right? But instead of doing it sporadically at a very, very long distance to keep it over into, into, into one point, you're actually doing it in a smooth direction, right? That's he hence aim smoothing. So, for example, if I'm not controlling the recoil of that line, it does this. Now, I'm not going to pull down at all. No pulling down is going to be done here. I'm not going to pull down at all.
See, see how it didn't go up? If this was any other game, right, and I was doing this, it would do that. Because the recoil would still be happening, and I'd be moving it to the side, right? But for some reason, that's not how Apex works, right? So, if I'm moving my crosshair at a certain speed, I don't have to pull down at all. So, if you... If someone's moving, let's say someone's on a jump pad, right? One, one, one thing I see uh, a lot is... An enemy player will take a jump pad towards an enemy or away from an enemy, and then they'll just die instantly. It's something that... So many mistakes, or... Um... For example, I'm a Horizon main, right? So this is this is this is uh, something I see a lot. Is other Horizon mains, uh, or other other players? When I'm in a Horizon lift, like this, they'll try and shoot me while I'm going up in the air. And then as they're reloading, I just jump on their head because they're reloading, and then I stay above them so they can't shoot me. The best play is take cover, wait for my timer to run out, and as I jump out, just shoot me as I'm falling, because you have no recoil on your gun. Because if I'm falling at a certain rate, I'm moving my cr you're moving your crosshair at that rate as well. So you have no recoil. So as I'm jumping out here, you're moving your crosshair. As I'm going down, you're moving your crosshair. And because you're moving your crosshair at that speed, you have absolutely no recoil at all. So, you know, it, it's not just fundamentals of recoil. It's fundamentals of the game. You, that you can outplay people just by understanding how to shoot your weapons. It's so, so simple. Um, but yeah, the, the way the aim smoothing works in terms of when you want to use it is SMGs, assault rifles literally anything so you just want to strafe and aim at target like this and as you're doing that just shoot it's that simple now i wouldn't recommend doing this because obviously you have to like adjust your aim and and the moment that you stop moving like this the moment you counteract it you counteract your strafe there's a moment in there in which you have to control the recoil and that can really set off your aim especially if you're doing strafes like this which no one should ever be strafing like this never strafe like this please so just want to do it in one direction like this. it's really really simple okay if that's all you wanted to know then you can probably click off this video now because i'm going to go into detail to explain how you want to practice these and if you don't care if you've already got it figured out and you think you can, you know, you can get it down, go for it. Click off this video, go try it for yourself, hop in the firing range. But if you want to know how I do it personally and how I learned to master all of these techniques, just stick around to the end of the video. Okay, so I'll go over how to do recoil control first. As I explained before, it's just controlling the pattern of the gun. Um, so the way you want to start by doing it, let's say you're a complete novice. This is the first time you've ever picked up the game. You haven't even gone into a match before, right? This is how you want to do recoil control. So first of all, you want to get about 50 meters away from a top from this target. All right, 50 meters is a very small distance. Now, first of all, you want to understand what the recoil pattern is. So once these go black or off into the distance over here, just shoot your gun. See where the bullets go. And then all you want to do after that is just try and control the recoil simple once you've mastered getting i'd say do your best to try and aim here you know aim on the side of it don't aim for a headshot because again that will just mess things up a little bit for you um so once you once you've got it down for 50 meters i want to come up here about 60 meters do it again you know try and try and hit those 540s once you've got those two done you want to come stand over here by the triple take i want to aim up here this is gonna be 115 meters this is how i can this is how i do my machine guns right some machine guns um so when i'm doing my smgs i normally do it from here and then i eventually go to here um so you want to control into this one once you've got the 115 down though you want to come up here to about 160 it will be just over when this zip line uh goes away so it's about here and once you've done that you want to come up a little bit more now for people just getting into recoil control i would definitely say if you're hitting 540 from 160 meters away you are golden absolutely golden now the only guns i recommend doing this for is flatline r301 and then also 
I'd recommend learning the car because the car, I don't see the car getting nerfed anytime soon. When you're doing things like the car, you want to come to about here. 115 meters. Just want to control it from here. That's how you want to control the, the car SMG. It's very, very simple. Um, it will take you a long time, though. Very, very long time. And this is why I say you don't want to master it, right? If you if you want to improve and you want to become a high-level player, go ahead, master those three weapons. Master the car. Master the R301. Master the flatline. Go for it. But if you are an average-level player and you're just looking to hit diamond for the first time or you're looking to you know, three stack your way to masters or anything like that. You don't have to master these. Do not worry. You know, I'm not telling you to sit in the firing range for seven hours. I'm not telling you to sit with the flat line for days on end until you master it. There's no need, right? Now, I'm a bit of a enthusiast when it comes to improvement. Some would say I obsess over it. Um, so I have indeed sat in the firing range for about seven hours learning the r301 now i'm sure many of you are sat here like wow the r301 is so easy i find it so simple how is this guy struggling well I'll tell you why i struggled because i came over here at 210 with a 1x scope like this with no barrel stabilizer not pressing a single key of movement controlling the recoil and hit a full max clip that's why i struggled um Once you've got the 160 down, you're basically good to go. Very, very simple. You can do 180. If, if your 160 is good, it's definitely going to improve your gameplay. 180 is also incredible. If you want to go for the 200, go for it. But be aware, it's very, very hard. And it's quite difficult to kind of count how well you're doing with the headshot multipliers. That's how you do recoil control. That's how you want to learn it and get better with it. It's 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 very situational when you're going to be using recoil control, though. Uh, for example, in my latest video where I threw my 6,000 damage game, I was on top of a massive water wheel. And because of where the surface was, I was trying to aim smooth by walking like this. But one, because of how far away she was. And two, because of how much ru how like uh, weird the surface was and how much room there was to like strafe. I was finding it very hard. So all I did was just crouch down and just recoil control. And then I hit it for like 100 and something. Um, so it's very situational when you're going to sit there and actually just purely control recoil. Um, but being able to control the recoil definitely helps with aim smoothing. Uh, because there's situations where you're not moving enough or the character's too far away. And the amount that you're moving the crosshair isn't enough to be purely dependent on aim smoothing so you will have to pull down a little bit uh so just learning the recoil pattern really really helps uh just master the weapon so next in line is jitter aiming now jitter aiming is only possible on pc i believe now people are going to argue in the comments people are going to scream and shout and be like oh my god pc has another advantage they can tap strafe they can jitter aim now hold your horses I could be wrong, but I've seen console players jitter aim. Now, I haven't seen them do this and jitter their, their mouse or, or their controller like this. But I've seen them do the rotational jitter aiming. Now, it's not as accurate as PC jitter aiming, as obviously we have a lot. It's a lot easier for us to do that. But I have seen high sense controller players like move their crosshair enough in a in, the, in like a small circle like this, kind of counteracting the recoil. Um, so. If you're playing on a high sense, maybe you can do it. Again, I've never played on a controller, so don't take anything I say literally. Because uh, I genuinely do not know if it works on a controller. I do know you cannot uh, vibrate jitter aim like this on a controller. So apologies for that. Uh, but jitter aim is very, very simple. If you're on a PC, place your hand on your mouse and just move it. There you go. You've mastered jitter aiming. That was seriously. It's, it's actually very, very simple. You're just moving it very, very fast. I just vibrate my arm. So it moves my crosshair. Very, very simple. Uh, you can do this with 
practically any scope. Although it's very easy, it's a lot easier with the 4x in my opinion. But yeah, that, that, that's how you do the first form of jitter aiming. I personally prefer that because I'm I have a really low sense, so moving my mouse like this is pretty difficult for me. The, the way that jitter aiming works is you're moving your mouse faster than the gun shooting, right? So this is why we don't do it with things like SMGs uh, because it's practically pointless, and it's another reason why you don't jitter aim with the R301 because the R301 has a high fire rate. So if you're jitter aiming it, you're moving your mouse very quickly. And it's also got a decently easy recoil pattern. So if you just learn the recoil pattern and then aim smooth, it's basically aimbot. It's ridiculous. I personally prefer to learn at 180. All you want to do, just just aim from here. And just keep doing it until you hit like a really big clip. And this is probably the easiest one to learn it on as well. Because it has a lot of recoil. I mean, come on. The recoil goes from here all the way up to here. If there's anything you're going to learn by jitter aiming, it's going to be this weapon. This is the best weapon to learn jitter aiming on. Now you can do the rotational like this. Yeah, I'm not very good at that one. But, but yeah, that's how you want to practice jitter aiming. Just grab a devotion, stick a turbocharger on it, stick a 4x on it, and then just sit from really, really far away and just keep spinning that mouse. This is the part where controller players can rejoice and realize that they really do have it quite easy now don't get me wrong in terms of jitter aiming and recoil control control uh, control players have it hard but aim smoothing being the most important recoil mechanic in the game the fact that you guys get to do this without even thinking about it is definitely a big helping hand now i'm not i'm not saying aim assist op i'm not saying controller is op i'm not saying pc is op they're both different inputs stop arguing with each other stop complaining if you can't kill someone, you can't kill them. They're better than you. End of. If you die to aim assist, get better at close range. If you die to someone jitter aiming, play behind cover. Why are you in the open? Simple. You know? Stop complaining about each other's inputs. Take it as inspiration to get better at the game. Now, don't get me wrong. If you die to one of those players, if you die to someone with aim assist, blame aim assist straight away. If you die to someone jitter aiming, blame jitter aiming. Blame PC. Blame the fact that you can use the whole arm. If someone tap strafes, oh, illegal movement. Blame that. But if you're not cool headed after dying in about 20 minutes, and you cut, and you, you know you still sit there and blame the input they're on, get a life. You're cringe. Now with that out of the way, let me explain why I say controller players have it easy in terms of aim smoothing. The way that aim assist works, as you guys know, is it slows down. So you can be moving like this, and as you get to the target, it slows it down, right? So you can go. And it slows down. Obviously, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you get the point. Now, the reason this helps is because it basically helps pull towards the target. So, as you're strafing, it's going to keep helping you pull towards the target, basically assisting you in aim smoothing. So, you're going to have reduced recoil because you're aim smoothing, um, and then you're also being assisted in your aim smoothing. So, your aim smoothing is going to be almost perfect. And it's it's definitely a, a deadly combo, for sure. But as PC players, we can learn aim smoothing. We just have to put a little bit more effort into it. Um, at least close range. If you're long range and aim smoothing, both people have a hard time. It is very difficult to do in terms of like long range, keeping it on the target, moving at the you know it's going to be difficult. Uh, but it is the most it is the best recoil technique to learn, as it helps out so much in any situation. So the best way I, I I do to learn this is I just shoot these 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 dummies. Now, if you want to, you can go and activate the dummies up there, uh, but it's not necessary. Uh, so all you want to do is to start off. You want to just strafe in one direction like this. You want to practice strafing in one direction, keeping your crosshair on your target, and just like this. Now, if you want to make it a little bit harder, keep it on the head. Once you've got that down, 
You just want to start shooting as well. Very, very simple. You want to keep doing those exact same strafes that you were just doing. But you want to shoot and keep your crosshair on the target. That, that's, how, that's how you want to get used to it. And I recommend doing it with an SMG because, you know, this, this, this will just get it a lot easier for you. you. You'll understand the fundamentals of aim smoothing. And then when it comes to using the, the flatline from far away, you'll just kind of, you'll just kind of know what to do. You, you have the feel for it, so you'll just know what to do. Now, yes, this does work with every single weapon in the game. Obviously, excluding things like the bow, don't be silly. But this works with every single gun in the game. If you want to improve at the game, learn all three of those those techniques. Now, if you're on controller, just learn aim smoothing and recoil control. But you want, if you're going to master any of these, I recommend mastering aim smoothing. It is so important. I cannot stress this enough. It is so important. It's the fund it's one of the fundamentals that makes up how guns work in this game. So hopefully you learned something from this guide. If you did learn something from this guide and want to see more guides like this in the future, please like, subscribe, and comment so I know this is the kind of thing you enjoy. And let's keep improving together.